Hey everybody, welcome to video two of our deadlifting while moving your house and furniture and belongings uh, series. So first one we talked about moving furniture. Furniture is generally a little bit heavier, um, a little more awkward and you need some rules. We went through some rules, optimize your leverage, right? Um, today I wanna talk about moving boxes, maybe a heavy box full of books and teach you how to do that, right? Did you hear that? That freaked me out. It was just a cord. It's okay. Um, so if I have a box here, same principles, I need to minimize this leverage, right? I need to get as close to the box as I can. Now with furniture, you generally have a little bit more room for play. Um, what do I mean here? Furniture, I don't have to get quite as low to pick up generally, especially if, you know, if you've got a couch with a little overhang on the sides, you can kind of just hold that overhang and then you're fine. With boxes, it's a different story because a box is on the ground. So the first thing that I need to do after I get some leverage, maybe even before I get some leverage, is I need to make sure I have a grip. I can't, if I can't hold it, I can't pick it up, right? So let's tilt the box. And then this is a hard example because this box is really, really light because it's empty. But I think you'll get the point. Um, I did this with a heavy box with one of my clients at works. So tilt fingers underneath, right? And then I have a little crack here that I can even fit my fingers together and then slide along the box until I get it where I want. And maybe, you know, maybe I need to get on the other side of this box. And so sometimes what I'll do is I'll pick it up a little bit and rest it on my foot to give me a little bit more leverage. And now I can get to the other side of this box, okay? I'm not gonna pick up from here, I'm just finding my grip make sure that's very clear. I'm not gonna pick up here. I'm just finding my grip. I can hardly see you. Okay, um, so from here, now I need to find my footing, right? I need to get my leverage. And there, I found my leverage, and now I can pick the box up, and I have it right here. It's just like a deadlift. My arms are straight, my back is flat. When I'm holding this box, right, I'm not arched back like this. My back is pretty round. I can feel a ton of butt contraction. Even though this box is empty, I can still feel some, right? And I need to be able to maintain that while I walk. Okay, so that's the main principle. Uh, get your grip, sorry, get your grip, and then put yourself in a good position to minimize leverage and optimize your strength, right? Boxes are a little bit more difficult because we have to go lower. So you've got to prioritize that. You've got to make sure you're in a good position before you try to start lifting stuff. People often get hurt because they're just like, I'm over this, I'm trying to rush through it. And instead, I'd, I know it. it's not fun, but I'd try to get you to teach it more like a, or treat it more like a meditation exercise rather than just this task that you don't wanna do. Um, the third way to not hurt your back while moving stuff is to hire someone else to do it. <laughs> 